Now that I had the trencher out of the frame, it was time to do a thorough inspection. I learned my lesson on the mower attachment, so I really wanted to take my time and make sure I didn't miss anything on this one. The trencher has no gearbox and is direct drive, so there really is only the bearings to worry about greasing. Then I went through and checked all the bolts to make sure they were tight. Then it was time to tension the chain. The goal here is to keep the chain pretty loose, but not too loose that it'll jump off the sprocket. This trencher has a bolt on each side that you need to make sure you turn both of them evenly or the boom will not be straight and you'll probably end up breaking the chain. If this is a new trencher, it's a good idea to check the tension again about 10 or 20 minutes after digging as the chain and sprockets will probably settle just a little bit. Once I was happy with the adjustment, I went to install what I believe is called the crumber shoe. Yeah, I had to look that one up and it still sounds fake. They do it. Plumbuses. Everyone has a plumbus in their home. I thought this was only for safety, but it turns out that it's supposed to help keep the loose dirt close to the chain so it was pulled out of the trench. After a few minutes, I realized that unfortunately I was missing half of the parts. Ugh, you got me again, Richie Brothers. So now I cannot finish installing the crumber shoe. Of course, that wasn't going to stop me from digging though. With it passing a basic function check, I locked the chain and now it was finally time to make a trench. This is pretty rough dry ground that is full of rocks and I must say I was very impressed how well this cut into the ground. This stuff is really hard to even dig with a pickaxe and you might have noticed that the ground is so hard that it's even shaking the camera that is about 15 feet away. I honestly thought the trencher was just going to bounce off this ground till I got it wet or something but was pleasantly surprised. Everything was going pretty well till it locked up because some small rocks jammed between the chain and the sprocket. I couldn't get it free by slowly running the unit back and forth so I ended up loosening the chain a little bit more until it ran freely again. Overall, I've been pretty happy with Trencher, and you'll see it more in our goat pasture build. Once again, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.